Hello everyone, my name is Hiskia. Today I want to show you how to create an alpha channel trees and scatter that trees on a landscape in 3D Studio Max. First we're gonna create our alpha channel trees on Photoshop. So we got the image of trees now. Using these tools and then just click on pick one colors of the trees and then create new layers. Drop the trees there. Put it as the background. And then save this. Um, maybe just the name green. Save as JPEG. The next one is to use the magic hand tool. To select the trees. Just the trees. So we gotta invert it. And then go to channels. So we're gonna click here. It will show the alpha channels of it. So just put um, the white colors there. So we got our shadows of um, trees. And just click A, Control A, and Control C. You gotta copy it into the new file. Just Control V. So we got our um, alpha channel trees now. We gotta just save it. I said alpha. This um as JPEG. Okay, now so we're gonna move on to 3D Studio Max. First, we're gonna create a plane. Just um showing the edit faces. I'm gonna put the map, the alpha channel trees on here. Go to standard, and then go to maps, diffuse color, pick map, select the green one that we save at first, and the opacity um, as is the alpha one. Then don't forget. To, um, to click the file of out and increase it. Just put it here. Okay. Um, yeah, remember to uncheck the real world map size. So now we got our trees without background. That's what we want. Now we're gonna copy this um, trees. We're gonna rotate and copy these trees three times using the top view to make it look more three-dimensional just use copy just copy okay so in here we got trees like with three sides I mean we're gonna skip scatter these trees into a landscape the problem with scatter is scatter is only work on one object now we got like three separate objects now we're gonna attach um, these three objects together. So just click one, go to Edit Poly, and then click Attach, attach the other two. So now they are one object. Now we're gonna create our landscape. Maybe bigger. Increase the length and the width segment. We're gonna create noise to create the more organic landscape. Increase the Z value. Yeah. Scale it. Uh, yes. Now we got our landscape. Now we're gonna scatter this into this landscape. Go to compound object, scatter. Here, pick this distribution object. Click the landscape. Remember to turn off the perpendicular and then um, turn hide distribution object. Yes. So now we got, um, so and then you can increase the duplicate here. You can select the, I mean, the placement by area, even volume or, or option here. You can use area. Okay, and you can play with the scale, even like that. Now, we got problem now. 
can see the trees is like located in the middle of the landscape it's not located on the top what we need is on the top so why is it happen because the pivot points of the our trees at first is on the middle it's not on the bottom of the trees let's make it um, now portion on the middle so we're gonna just gonna back go back and then you're gonna change the pivot points you can go to I mean uh, in the new 2ds max in before you can just change here can affect with the point and move it but in the current this max is not work anymore if you, even if you change it it's still it's still portion in the middle still take the original pivot point what would be work is using the link x form using the just front one link x form and then click control object which is the landscape and then let's turn it down as if I can write zero now if you um, scatter it you see um transmission areas and then So if you see like um, if all the trees are located on the like in on the top they're really on the top of the landscape which is what we want so we got our forest of trees now using scatters so because it's like um it's quite small so if you render so that's that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching bye bye